Let's go. In today's video, I coach a plat Reina main that is struggling with inconsistency. If you guys feel like you're inconsistent in Valorant right now, then I recommend you watch this video in full. I give plenty of tips on how you can become a more consistent Valorant player. Before we jump into this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers on the channel. With that being said, I quickly wanted to mention that 88% of you guys that are watching my videos are not subscribed. So if you guys are currently enjoying the videos I am putting out, please consider dropping a subscribe on the channel. That would be much appreciated. Finally, if you guys want a personalized coaching session with me, I offer them over at my Twitch every single day. Link in the description. Also, if you want the opportunity to win a free coaching session, make sure to drop a comment down below with your ride ID and your rank, and I might just feature you in one of my upcoming videos. Quick side note before we jump into the coaching, I accidentally covered the mini map with my webcam in this video. I meant to move it. This was an accident on my part, and it won't happen again. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you you guys in the next one peace i'm the ceo of inconsistency like drop like this or i'll like you go know, like this not horrible i remember yeah at least you're not dropping like sevens like me oh i am wait, let me... <laughs> wait he says oh god okay we got like, we got a couple oof. in there it's all good though yeah all right so your plot what's the highest rank you've ever been uh plot three all right at least you're playing so that's yeah. one that's um, one thing when i like talk to people that like people always are like oh i need a coaching session i'm so desperate i can't rank up i suck but then they have yeah. like five competitive wins on the season like you gotta you gotta you gotta play a lot you know yeah i'm gonna insta lock right here Do it. just because you play right now yeah oh no that all right looks quick. like I'm what else you play what else you play okay, you're gonna die oh my god yeah he's... i'm gonna die holy that's how he's like okay oh my god i thought i got it i thought he did it again i was about to say Right. Yeah, definitely my knife right there. Yeah, that that was fine. You were uh, you pulled out the knife a little too early. Your team ended up covering you. The only thing yeah. I think from Reina pistol round, I think on attack, I Five always one. buy a flash, and I just play for I play for the entry. Okay. I think a flash on attack is really good, especially because Reyna eyes are probably the most powerful when when they're on pistol round because they're kind of, you know, you have to shoot it three or four times, you know? Yeah. You always go for Marshall or? Oh, uh, yeah. All good. I think something that's gonna help with you is just I'm okay with the Marshall buy, but just do it on defense. I think if you win attack yeah. pistol, I think you buy Spectre full armor, double flash, and you, and you and you get your confidence up immediately. Like if yeah. if you are able to push in on the second round, get three four kills, you know, get towards that all. Especially if you get a few kills on pistol, you can get that alt third round. You'll start feeling yourself. Like it's all mental yeah. with duelist mains. Cause I play a lot of duelists. If you're if you're mentally clocked in and you're feeling confident, you're gonna play well. So yeah. getting those early kills will definitely help you boost that. Placing sentry. Reloading. Nice shot. Good crosshair, please. Ah, uh, just kind of nervous. That's fine. No, you're good. That was good. Your team, you made yourself tradable too. Like that was good. Yeah, I was gonna say he's That's dead. Right. Um, he had the crouch there. Yeah, uh, if you if you standing if you're standing on that box back default and that guy's coming yeah. down the stairs, he could see your head. Your teammates look like they're forcing. I think you should buy. Okay. We we'll just buy a Spectre full. Yeah, that's good. There you go. This is good. Yeah, we'll set up. I'm fine. Keep going inside. Keep going inside. There's a guy inside. There's a guy inside. Yep. Okay. Oh. They're, yeah, they're holding you. It's all good. Okay. So one thing I kind of noticed is that when you get in a little like panicky situation, you don't know 100% what's going on. You default to pulling out your knife. And, yeah. Um. That, that can kind of be a hard habit to break. I think one thing you should just try to do is just try to do like a mental replacement. So like if you don't know what's going on, I think the first thing you should do is look at your map instead of pulling out your knife. Because if you look at your map, you can understand where players are, where players are fighting, and it'll make the game so much easier on you. 100%. Yep, that's good. 
Your team's buying always full buy. So a lot of people, I so a lot of things. It's one thing I see a lot of people do is they play for their own econ instead of their team's econ. If that makes sense. Yeah. Flash in here maybe. Yep. Oh, I'm lucky. Let's get trade though. That's fine. So one thing I do see is when when there's nothing like going on you kind of yeah. lose you kind of lose your head level crosshair placement a little bit you kind of like look at the ground a little bit you could kind of just drift off like a yeah. good a good thing i like to do is when like or when i was like learning how to get crosshair placement because you want to get crosshair placement to the point where it's muscle memory and you don't have to think about any time you're doing it uh yeah. what i like to do is that if you th find yourself drifting off your teammates glow through the walls or like they glow through the walls green and they also when they're far away you see that and then also when they're next to each other when you're next to them you can obviously line up so just line your line your crosshair up with your teammates heads well you know and that that helped me learn quickly how to just you know make sure you make sure you're always lined up and set for when it matters you know yeah oh that's unlucky yeah so they pretty much do the same thing every round so what I would do is I would shoot the sage wall and then just play back instantly because you know he's gonna waste his nade and then you go up and shoot the sage wall again, you know? He, he wastes yeah. that so quickly. That's a good angle. Nice. Nice. Okay, now you know where last is. Swing off, swing off your teammate's contact. So wait until he has contact and swing. You'll see it on the map. Swing now, swing now. Nice, good job. There you go. Here we go. I'm gonna be blunt. I just feel like yeah. you're not great at multitasking. So <laughs> I normally am. I just like I don't know. I'm I'm thinking too much about. No, you're like, fine. Pressure. Don't. That's that's the thing though, dude. There is no pressure right now, and I know I know you, I know. Sure. Literally, as as a duelist main, you honestly kind of have to just shut off your brain, like yeah. It, and just you just gotta run in there. You gotta just fucking go and play out and play for your dismisses because you're honestly you're not calming very much. So I think yeah. that you can get watch out for the nade. Watch out for the nade. You know they do it every round. Oh, he's gonna nade. Go. There you go. There it is. The breach looks like he's gonna all here. So I'll get ready to throw it right eye high. Yep, for, so the, for the heaven peak, and now you go. This is good. Yeah, go heaven. Go heaven. Go heaven. Fucking send it. Good walk. Nice heal. There you go. You see one tree? You know, you see it's pretty dead now. Nice. Okay, so bombs on site. You don't know where Omen is. I think he did TP though. He could be aiming. Fine. You guys should just double hell. You should tell him to come double hell. Yep, he so you should back up into the corner, I think, because he's got this cross. You should watch left here. Yep, just for the drop. The drop. Yep. He's got the left. He's got the right side. He'll see if he swings you close. Okay, that's fine. Your teammate should win this, no doubt. Save it. Yeah. That's fine. You take those. Okay. So, like I said, just get your comms up. That was that yeah. was good though. You were confident. You ran into heaven. I think if you're gonna get that timing up heaven, I think you walk there because people they're not gonna expect you. Um, yeah. But that that was that was well played. You got in there. You got the kill, and you you made it happen. So good job. Should be in the smoke. Nice. The heal. You hear one spawn? Two deep. Up the comms. One enemy remaining. That's one's top mid. Team on the map. Oh, he's gonna be market left side. Yep. This is a good angle. Hold this. Nice. There you go. Good shit. You're just like everyone else. I think I think if you honestly look at your map more, you're gonna be you, you can be diamond in three days. Like I'm not yeah. even joking you. Like if you just understand what's going on around you. The mini map is literally your best friend. Like I, I really think you have that skill to literally, you know, rank up two ranks in a few days if you just are able to process your information a little faster. But keep it yeah. up, you're doing fine. Also hard without an uh, an initiator like a silver or a sky to gather info. Like breach is so weak compared to those agents because he can't get any like info. So yep. Careful mid now. Yep. Yep. Cat, 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 cat. Yeah. Pulling out your knife again. What, what's your knife binded to? It's a uh, mouse. Yeah, I get quick it. scroll wheel. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, 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 
I'm only doing it right now because I'm nervous. Like, I don't ever normally do that. <laughs> okay. Well, I think <laughs> I think it might be better to bind your mouse, your, your knife to, like, on your keyboard. You don't yeah. have to, but I just feel like there's honestly no reason to have it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just, like, nervous. I don't know why. No, I do. It's all good, man. This is just to help you learn. But, uh, I honestly, you have no reason to have it out other than if you're gonna... 30 seconds left. You know, run away. Back up, back up. Okay, so Killjoy and Raze both have all here, so be ready for that. Your, your, your breach should have saved this clear. So you guys have... You guys have Killjoy ult as well, and you have yours. That's a big kill. No more Raze rocket. Okay, they're probably gonna counter... Oh, Killjoy's dead. Okay, beautiful. I would just wait for the all here. Um, Omen's top mid. So that means I leave Sage. Sage walled here, so she's probably close. Yep, she's tree. One enemy remaining. Okay, so she's dead. This guy's going to be rotating heaven. So I would look to your right. Okay. All right, now time for the off. Time for the forfeit, probably. Yeah. Here's another tip that if you don't like looking at your map, which I understand some people don't because they think it gets distracted. Counting utility is another good thing. Say you run up to a site, you hear a sage wall, you hear a raise nade, and then you see a recon, a recon. You can automatically yep. predict that there's three there. So you go yep. off that, you know what I mean? I like counting utility is a cool thing that I picked up, uh, you know, a while ago and it's helped me a lot. Okay, so your brim's out mid, so they can't be cat, they can't be cat, they can't be cat. The brim's out mid, so they could only come up A main. You see Raze, you yep. see, saw Raze, Raze Killjoy, yeah. nice, there you go. So they all have to be there unless you walk through A main. The only Raze Killjoy, Omen's there now. And Sage is close right. That's right. Uh, Dead. Switch now. Main. There you go, good work. Um, if you have a breach or like a sky or anything like that, I recommend, uh, I recommend like talking to him and just getting like little team plays going you know what i mean like he can stun for you you can run in there stuff like that uh a cool little flash i like to do with reyna stand right here against the wall throw your flash through the wall yep so i like to throw this flash because tip uh no right where you had it the first the first place yes because then if they shoot it you know people are there if they don't shoot it they're likely not there so they're likely not aiming if they're not shooting that flash mid stop the come in Thank you. Last two out mid. He'll likely TP across. Oh. Okay, I like that from you. Spike down mid. So he could come behind you if he ran up cat. It's entirely possible. Yep. I think, I think you should have held your spot, but that's fine. 30 seconds left. Nice. Yeah. Personally, he has to come to you. You know that. Don't push that guy. There. You know there's a, your yeah. teammates out mid. He can't be there. So just hold that off angle and wait for him to push you. Because at the end of the day, he has to come get the bomb. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just giving him a 1v1. Sixty-two sage. You think I should have gone like uh, round gen instead of repeating that? I think I would have probably stuck that for two there. I think you had both those kills. Mm -hmm. But um, that either I mean, even if you don't, you dismiss. I think you get out. I don't think you. I don't mm -hmm. think you repeat. Yeah. I think I think at that point it's get it's already getting smoked off. You're playing the spam game that doesn't play in your favor. You know what I mean? Nice. My shots. There we go. Atta boy. I'm telling you, like, I'm... What we like? I'm just nervous. You're good. You're chilling. That's what we like. Sage up, Cap. All right, let's see these opping skills. We were, we were hyped up for these. My shot. Okay. Feeling safe. 
Uh, smoke. Bad smoke. Yeah. yeah. Woman's lower mid. So they could be walked up cat, so be careful. But they're still top. She's offing. I think run. you heard one cat as well. Nice shot. Spike down. Okay, a. I see you. I see you. Starting to feel it. One enemy remaining. Last one's a man has op. Careful weakness. Oh man, good shit. All right. So if you're if you're really confident in your opping ability, you're really confident in your martial ability and stuff, then you need to yeah. play. Then you need to play to get it early on. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you need to be saving as much money as you can on the pistol in the second yeah. round, and you need to buy you need to buy it early if that's what you think you know you want your play style to be. It all really depends on what you want your play style to be. When you're confident, you could definitely you know get that diamond rank that you want. Just you know staying confident and being okay with you know having a bad game is all right because a lot of people. And I mean, even myself included, you have a shit game and then you let it spiral into something that it's not. Bad games happen, you know what I mean? So you just got to just focus on the next one. Because I mean, from, from the looks of this career right now, I mean, these games aren't entirely bad. Just because you're not having 30 every game, like that, that's pretty consistent. Like 15, 19, 16, like that's consistent. Like you may not think it. Look how dominant you're winning. 13, 4, 13, 4, 13, 6, 13, 7, 13, 7. Like that's good games. Like not every game you're going to have a, a 30 bomb game. You know what I mean? Because yeah, those only really happen if you're really absolutely like dominating like that much better. Like you're like an immortal three player playing in play. You know what I mean? I think the main thing you absolutely need to work on. And I know that game was kind of scuffed is just giving good comms. Uh, you don't really talk. Um, and I think if you're, if you're calm in your team it'll help them uh it'll help everybody you're gathering information you know you're looking at that map you're you're you know you learn yeah. things you understand things faster when your teammates are talking to each other before the video ends i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the player that i did coach he is now well on his way to diamond finding extreme consistency and confidence in his game and i am super excited to see the progress he will continue to make Here's a screenshot of all the tips I wrote down in this video if you guys want to take a look at them.